Hey guys, Kev here, and I have un stuff to unbox. I have unstuff, and I still have stickers out from the last video. <laughs> I was unboxing Dylan's uh, new knife, the uh, the upgraded 4SV2. So, if you guys are interested, definitely check that out because he's a great dude, and I would love to uh, see you guys help support him any way you can. So what I have here is the Artisan Cutlery Pyrite Warncliffe, or the Warncliffe Pyrite. And everybody raves about this knife. I'm not so sure I love it. Um, it's cool. Um, you saw there, like the detent just completely changes sometimes. I wonder if I was like, no. It's a weird knife to me. Like, left-handed, the detent is pretty trash, honestly. Like, there it fired hard. But other times, it just barely comes out. That's what she said. So, it's, like, got one of those revolving detents that you see on button locks where they just change. My Hoback was kind of like that, too. Um, it's a good knife. It's got great design, great feel. But the blade to handle looks a little off on this to me, and the choil is not really a choil. So it's a little bit annoying. Anyway, I have strops. So these are strops from Jesse. Um, if he wants me to link his Instagram, I will. But I believe he said he just does this for fun. He doesn't have the time to make these for sale and... Even if he did, he wouldn't know what to sell them for. So, um, all right, let's just see what we got first. Oh, shit. Okay. Those two and this. I have so many straps now, it's not even funny. So, Kev, I hope you find these straps to your liking. Included is an eight by two and three quarter si single sided strop, eight and two three quarter double sided strop, both on red oak boards, and a six by one and a half inch aluminum travel strop. I love these to keep in my work truck. All are eight to nine ounce veg tan leather, smooth side up, and prepped to have just a bit of fuzz. I find this particular finish to work well with diamond compounds. If you want to put these in a video, that's cool. If not, that's cool too. I'm not worried about getting any publicity. I just make these for friends and family. They take too long to make to sell them since they are all handmade and hand finished. Thanks for all you do for the community. Thanks, Jesse. So, shit. Sorry, guys. Um, first off, big, big shout out to Jesse. Thank you, dude. Um, it's amazing of you to do this for me. Thank you so much. So if I'm allowed to link him below, I will. If not, you know who you are, man. And thank you so much. So let's check out this travel strop. First off, I love these Ziploc bags. Whatever these are, this is awesome. I want one. This is a aluminum based strop i guess it's double-sided look at that i mean that just feels good um do i have a knife that needs a shropping oh yeah maybe maybe not let's see so i really torched this uh drop bear ah where is my damn knife shield did i lose it uh -oh. Trying to fall. Trying to fall down there. I have such a small area to work with. It's insane. So check this out real quick. Just big shout out to Knife Shield, uh, Knife Pivot Lube. You see all that gunk right there? Just take a look at that. If I wipe it, uh, it's not coming off, right? Check this out. I'm going to spray it off camera. Okay. Spray it on. I rub it in. You don't have to, but oh, stab myself in the finger. Rub it in like that, and then you just wipe it off. I work it off because you kind of need to, but you don't have to. Look at this. I 
I mean, are you kidding me? The amount of shit this just removes is incredible to me. I used to struggle so hard with getting tape off. I'd put it under the sink with, like, Dawn and a fucking... Like, it's just annoying, right? That just came right off. It took me ten freaking seconds. Anyway. Yeah, it's still really sharp, but... Eh. Let's see. Yeah, it's got a little bit of, uh, got a little bit of, like, you know, catch there at the end. So, let's just try it raw, raw dog it. So the studs on this are going to be a little bitch. So it's interesting how that side is very smooth coming this way, but when I go the other way, it's like rough. Let's just see what happens when I do this side. Same thing. I think if anything, I, I might have made it duller. <laughs> but I think that's a me problem. I really don't like this um, thumb stud on this. Well, I think I figured out the problem. I think I was going too high on that way. Yeah, I was going way too high. I mean, it's sticky. It's sticky sharp, so... I think it's just me. Feels good. Oh, yeah. Much better. Okay. So I just... Oh, well. Don't need the note anymore. Thank you so much, dude. Um, <laughs> I feel terrible now. I just <laughs> ripped the note up. Alright, so then we have the single-sided one. And I don't know if that's because I can use this side. I've heard people use wood, but look at this wood. It's really nice. It's very finished, too. Oh, it's got a nice smell. But it's like, it's almost like wood flooring. It's very nice. And then you have the double sided one. Yeah, these are nice, dude. Thank you so much. Holy shit. Guys, big shout out to Jesse for these. Um, I have so many strops now. It's literally not even funny how many strops I have. So I gotta like start a strop collection, apparently. This is cool though. He's right. You could check this in your car and, you know, just have it for on the go. Very strong too. Cool. Thank you so much, Jesse. So there's that from Jesse set that aside and i have a package oh this is from tier one gear and edc reviews so try not to show i had him send it to my p.o box but he might not want me to show his address so this is a wee knife Ugh. Can't get it out. So she said, all right. Um, if you guys, first off, if you guys are not subscribed to Tier 1 Gear and EDC Reviews, I highly suggest you do. He also now has some knife designs. He has one with old squirrel knives. I don't know if they 
are partnered in general or if they just have the one knife together the shield and scythe and the other designs are just his i'm not sure but um definitely check out tier one and uh i think you guys will enjoy his content so thank you dude uh justin what is that oh is that from the knife shield probably this is the wee ziffius this is the uh button lock that came out recently everybody was raving about and honestly i kind of hate it the looks of it but he says it's awesome so we're gonna find out that's for sure It's a loner. Let me put that over here. Actually, oh, I th did I throw it? No. Just leave it in the box. Boom. All right. So I have another button lock here to compare it to, which is cool. So this is it. It's a fancy Wii button lock. And it has a wraparound. Let me get this out of here for now. Has a wraparound backspacer, which is pretty cool. And this blue line, that's pretty dope, honestly. It's a big knife. This is not a small knife. You have thumb studs and a two-tone blade. I was just making fun of two-tone blades the other night. Um, so you have a black wash and a horizontal satin. You have this toucan blade. Very interesting. Ergos are good feels really good in the hand up there you have a choil so you can choke up which is pretty good this flipper tab does get in the way quite a bit um and then you have the button classic wii button lock they do a great job with it yeah that action's pretty damn sweet reverse flicks good thumb flicks good sheesh sounds like it's hitting Sounds like it's bottoming out, right? But it could just be the uh, hitting the stop pin there. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Man, I would love a smaller version of this, but it really sucks it in. It's like nice. There's no bounce. Well, if you hold it down, I guess. But it has the action where if you time it, you just... I mean, I got it right off the get-go. I know how to do it. Boom. Yeah, this is sick. Dude, they crushed this. And the titanium feels amazing. Like, it really, really is nicely finished. Chamfered everywhere. Look at that. And then the carbon fiber wraparound backspacer makes it super light, you know? Very, very cool on this guy. Old school sort of Wii clip, in my opinion. That looks awesome. Good retention on that. Yeah, this is definitely dope. I wanted to hate it. I did, but... And, I mean, this is going to be a cutter. I mean, it's going to be an absolute monster for utility cutting and stuff like that. Maybe, you know, it could be a self-defense type deal. Some people will look at it like that. If you're at the gas station on Friday night, I mean, you got a good, you got a good tool here for you. Uh, nah, this feels good though. That feels good. It's a little large for my taste. So here's the uh, here's the pyrite right there. So here I'll even grab the uh, I'll grab the stout because I have one right here. V2 prototype, 3.3 inch blade. Right. So you have three sizes there. I mean, this is a full size knife. I mean, it's not huge, but it's a full size knife. This has got to be three, three point seven five. Like if I take the relative that I pretty sure is three point five. I mean, it's just, is the relative three point five? Now I'm wondering if it's just three point three. Mm, no, it's a little longer. I think it's three point five. This guy's just big. I mean, I don't even know why I'm doing this. I have a freaking measuring tape right here. You just grab it. <laughs> yeah, 
And it's a straight line, too. It'll be pretty easy. So, yeah, I mean, you're looking at three and three quarters, basically, to the uh, to the end of the frame. I mean, if you go back to here, it's four inches um, to the end of the choil. So, it, it's a big boy. And on a button lock, you know, uh, I dig it. I think it's cool. A little big for my taste. The acoustics are gnarly. Like... <laughs> so you'll probably see a rapid review on this i got a bunch of stuff in just now so probably hit a bunch of stuff at once maybe but we'll see this is so lightweight though for the size um yeah this is a cool knife very fidgety as well lefty reverse flick is pretty good yeah you just have to stay off the button not a big issue on this nice uh moku tie eh, looks more like time at no bastards that's flame anno or lightning anno. I'm pretty sure it's lightning anno on that pivot collar. Tried to get me. Nope, not falling for it. Yeah, there you go. We Ziphius and some dope ass uh, strops. So thank you to Jesse and thank you to Justin. Appreciate both of you. Love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I will catch you later.